Uh, <coughs> home sweet home. See everybody in a month. All right, day one of my adventure. <laughs> Thousand K's walk to Sydney. My mate Gabe's been kind enough to drop me off at Surface Paradise. And as he's just pointing out, at least it's a, a beautiful day to start off with. And uh, nervous as hell. Oh, it's gonna be very hard. I'm probably gonna die. <laughs> We're talking about my knees and ankles and my back blowing out. And, Don't forget uh, I get your weights if you do. Oh yeah, he gets my he gets my weights if I, I do, die. It's on, it's on record now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he can have all my weights if I die, all my supplements at home. <laughs> and um, so he's hopefully he's hoping that I'm gonna die. Correct. And yeah, that's good enough right, for me. You're gonna you're gonna have the adventure of your life. Oh, sure I am. So I've been walking for two and a half hours, probably like an hour. My bag keeps on breaking, <laughs> so I've had to readjust it quite a few times. But yeah, I knew this was going to be hard, I knew it was going to be like, push my limits, and um, yeah, so, but I'm alright, just having my first break, two and a half hours in, and been up since 4am, just before 4am, and got here, got to Surf's Paradise at 5, no, no, sorry, 6am, and yeah, so it's all after 8.30am now, and, oh, my back's killing me, uh, so I have my first race. Another two hours, I'll have another rest. And I'll walk another two hours, I'll have another rest. And depending on how much time I left, I'll walk a bit more. And then I'll try to find somewhere to camp for the night. Oh man. Day one. I don't hell. <laughs> oh shit. That would be alright. It's just this backpack is so heavy. And I just don't know what I've got to sacrifice. And the bag is breaking. And I have to keep stopping to fix it. And yeah, so. So yeah, <laughs> but, I mean it's, it's been good otherwise, it's beautiful and I love it. It's taking a long time. <laughs> Walking for uh, six hours, almost six hours, give and take long breaks. Um, yeah. Man, I know it was going to be hard, but Jesus Christ. Alright, at my first campsite. Set up the tent and I'm absolutely trashed. It's been great, it's been so fun. But yeah, time schedule, it's like I can't stop and enjoy the sights like I want to. So I've got to do it within 30 days. 30 days, 30 days, 30 days. And yeah, my feet are killing me. I mean, I've already, I wrapped them up beforehand. I got special socks to stop blisters, but no, nah, they are killing me. And I had to walk up and down this road like 10 times because the first place is well, it seemed expensive, I'm there now, so joke's on me. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Met some really nice lot of people along the way. Some old man's asking me if I'm alright, because I was like, yeah, I've walked over like 40 kilometers at least. I'm at, this is the first day, and I'm at Tweed Heads, and we started at Surface Paradise. Um, so, yeah. I'm just glad I made it to this camping, whatever you want to call it, before, the, before it got dark. Yeah, just had some kids riding around my tent saying, come out army dude. There's other tent campers and stuff here. And yeah, so I'm being a bit quiet. So I don't want to hear me talk and come back or something by the way. Because I'm not going to the kids right now. <laughs> so, yeah. We, I was going to take photos and stuff in my tent. Uh, but man, I'm absolutely buggered. My backpack and gear is so heavy. I could do that on my normal 5k hikes in the mountains and stuff probably. I haven't bunkered this down properly. I'm pretty wrecked. Should be alright, though. The tent very noisy. Um, yeah, off track. But yeah, carrying that much weight around for like what is it, 40 plus kilometers? Um, it's pretty intense. Get it? Intense. Actually, my legs, knees, back. Oh. I'm gonna be so sore in the morning. I hope I'm not that sore because I want to keep on going. This is important. I, have to, I can't. I have to suck up all this pain. But yeah, I mean, it's an adventure. Like, if there was no time limit, I'd be able to enjoy this site, chill out, do what I want to do. I would have stopped at the first camping place I saw four hours ago. Ooh, it's pretty hard, bro. But, um, yeah. So far, so good. 29 days of this left. Day two, morning. Um, oh, 
uh, 7.30 in the morning, just after been, uh, spending a bit of time preparing and uh, showering. Oh man, that shower was heaven. My feet are all... The three middle toes are fine, I just put it there as a precaution. And yeah, the pinky toes are both horrible. And there's blisters on the bottom of my feet. Yeah, but my spirits are, I still I believe I'm going to finish this, I'm doing it for a really good reason. And I've got millions of reasons why I'm doing this, and the reasons will be undisclosed, because it can be whatever you think it is. But, that's true, it's better than sitting at home all the time doing nothing. Sitting on Facebook, bitching about people, bitching about stuff, arguing with people that would never say these things to your face. Um, yeah, I just want to say I did something with my life, something different. Yeah, and I'm sure people have walked to Sydney before, but not many. And the food's lighter and you still get all your nutrients. Not that that's really important. Hey, that bird's perving on me. Um, <laughs> so yeah, and I want to keep talking but I don't know what else to say. I'm really excited though, but yeah, you can't sit down do nothing of your life, sitting on Facebook, playing video games, watching movies all the time, I mean, like, yeah, it's really happy, but don't you want to achieve something? Don't you want to say you did something? Don't you want to, just don't, you don't want to look back and say, look, I did nothing with my life. Man, I should have done something with my life, you know? This is just the start for me. If, um, if I die doing this, is it fogging up again? If I die, I don't care. At least I tried to do something. If I die doing this, I'm dying happy because I'm out there doing something rather than sitting at home procrastinating all the time. Damn you, misty screen. Must be warm in here. <laughs> um, but yeah, so if I drop dead, so be it. Shit happens. I tried to do something with my life. I don't care. It's not about how long you live, it's about how you live. So. Yeah. What are you going to do with your life? What are you going to do with your life? So yeah, I'm, I'm in New South Wales. I got New South Wales on my first day. That's pretty impressive, I reckon. I deserve a pat on the back. Ah, but I'm sunburned, so I probably shouldn't have done that. Because in 30 k's in, knees, leg, knees, feet were fine. But not those last 10 k's. I'm trying to find this place. Oh, my skin is getting warm. So, yay, bugs. Um, so yeah, okay, I better stop the video. Thanks for watching. This is pretty fucking mad, eh? Like, seriously, I mean, it's pretty discouraged because of the old the backpack being massively heavy and everything. Like, heavier than it should be. I don't know why it's so heavy, I can't really figure it out because it's like the first time I packed it. Um, I think. <laughs> but nah, seriously, this is the coolest thing ever. Like, I'm so glad that bridge didn't destroy it all the corner and whatever. But yeah. Know, it's just mad. Like, it's really cool. I was so excited beforehand too, and just the first day was so hard. Actually, well, the start of it was pretty good. Like the first 30, 40, 35 k's, 30 k's or so, that was fine. But then when I was trying to find a place to camp, then my feet started blistering and stuff. And, and yeah, knees were hurting. And, you know, it's awesome. It's awesome. After a couple more days, I reckon my body will be a bit more used to it. I wish I was a bit more out in the middle of nowhere, which will happen. Which will happen. So I don't want to be too close to the beach because Sydney isn't really right on the beach, is it? I'm not going straight to Sydney. I'm not going directly to Sydney anyway. I'm just going to Sydney area. And yeah. Hmm. What else is there to talk about, world? Well, you tell me. This is the Brian Show. Cutting out for now. See you next time. Good morning, Australia. Just listen. It's uh, day number three now. Just woke up. <laughs> well, just decided to get up. Um, I didn't do my vlog last night because it was too dark when I crashed. Um, there was a few people on the beach and I don't know if I was allowed to camp here so I had to wait for them to disappear. But uh, yesterday went great. Very, very, very great. It's bloody been awesome. Um, um, firstly, thanks to Andrew. He uh, offered me a ride. I was walking along the Pacific Motorway for I don't know how long. I must have missed my camping spot because, yeah, I missed it because I was walking for hours in the sun 
nothing on me. My legs are burnt <laughs> like hell. And then, um, yeah, Jim pulled up on the highway. He's like, man, did you need a ride? And I was like, yes, because I had no idea where I was. But he helped me with the camping spots and everything. We He went out of his way, though. Regardless, he did end up going out of his way. And uh, we stopped at a few different camping places. 50 bucks was the cheapest place in Byron Bay to camp. I'm in Byron Bay, by the way. I was in New South Wales yesterday. I forgot to point that out. My first day I made it to New South Wales on foot. And uh, yeah, so I'm in Byron Bay today. And I've camped at this little beach. And it's absolutely beautiful here. Uh, we've got bush turkeys running around. Very friendly seagulls, even though I'm not giving them any food. <laughs> And on the first day here, I saw wild dolphins going through. The, that, that's a river. That's a salt river. The beach is just there, though. Like, but still, yeah, I saw wild dolphins as soon as I got here. I didn't get photos of them, though, because I knew I was going to miss the moment if I wanted to pull the camera out. So I just had to stop and enjoy it and take my word for it. Uh, I don't think I am supposed to be sleeping here either because the Coast Guard went past last night. Massive beams. Like, they're checking everything, and somehow they didn't see me. Thank God for army camouflage. Camouflage tent. <laughs> But yeah, um, really starting to enjoy it. Had my first little campfire going last night. Failed miserably, couldn't keep it going. <laughs> um, my half cooked pasta didn't taste too good, but that's alright. I've got other food anyway. But yeah, my bag is really falling apart. I hope it lasts until I get to the next camping store so I can get another one. And yeah. Good morning, Australia. Hopefully today, I don't know how far I'm going to get, but um, I'm pretty excited to see where the road gets me. Hmm. My legs are feeling rested. I need to put on more sunscreen though. I've figured that out the hard way. Did these little shitheads that were keeping me awake last night. I'm gonna go pelican. Going <laughs> 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 on, mate. <laughs> this is so awesome. So. Looks like my mission might be coming to an early end. Um, I've got any of these blister kits on my feet, and I left them on to you know stop the blisters. Uh, so I tried taking them on off the other day, and I was like taking skin off banana peel. My toe was like red, so I was like shit. I'll leave it on there. And um, today, I don't know if you can really see, but on top of that, it's all yellow. I was like, you know, it just looks like a big callus or something, but. Um, I was taking the, slowly cutting off the, the band-aid, whatever it's called, blister kit, and um, just to see if my nails were right, because I couldn't feel much. And yeah, a lot of yellow pus, no, I don't think it was pus, I think it was yellow blood started coming out of my toe, so I think I'm going to lose half my pinky toe. And yeah, it sucks. <laughs> so I'm going to go try to find a doctor or something, and yeah, probably have to get my toe amputated, I'm not even kidding. Yeah, really. Yeah, I was really enjoy starting to enjoy myself too. Don't know how that. Don't know how. It's uh, just stupid. Don't know how this has happened. Obviously, I wasn't supposed to do what I was doing. You know, it's my fault somehow. But yeah. But it ends like this. Just sucks. I don't want it to end. There might, might be a way. There might be. Patch up and go and tell me how to really take care of my feet. But yeah. I tried at least and you know, it's not over yet, I'm not put off camping, but I'm not freaking out. I know I'm gonna lose half my toe, I know it. Things you do for people. Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all ages, Brian's adventure is going to continue because I'm lucky enough to meet this beautiful woman named Liz who works at the hospital and she's been kind enough to let me stay in her caravan for a couple of days and I'm not losing half my toe like I thought I was. It seems a bit better now. My feet are patched up and all that sort of stuff and I'm feeling pumped, excited and this has turned into the best adventure ever because I get to sit by this for the next two or three days. 
how freaking awesome, how beautiful, how stunning, how perfect in every single way. This is exactly what this adventure is supposed to be about. This kind of stuff. Oh my god. I am in heaven. I have come across the most beautiful person on the planet. One of the most beautiful people on the planet because I know some other beautiful people. Anyway, and look at this. It's just great. I am in heaven right now. This, this, this is amazing. This is so perfect. And I couldn't be happier right now. My adventure. Oh my god. And and she's like part vegetarian, so she tries to eat as little meat as she can. She believes in like butter and all this sort of stuff. She's just so kind hearted and I this is I was so upset because I thought I'd have to stop my walk because I thought I was gonna get my toe cut off or something. But it's gonna happen. This is awesome. Thank you so much, you beautiful person. Love my life. The adventure continues. Three, and um, I've already done a video about my feet problem, and I thought my situation was going to be over. But thanks to Liz, she saved my life, and I'm staying in this caravan. And I think she's going to get me to do some farm work for her when my feet are good to go. And, like I owe her, I really do. I don't really want to do it though, but I will. I will. I'm so grateful. And yeah, so this is my house for the next day or two. I really don't want it spending a day off the, off the road at all though I want to keep moving because I want to get to Sydney within 30 days the end of October so bad day mm. delay's a delay um, this is really growing on me yeah it's a pretty mad place too um, but yeah so that was day 2 day 3 now it's 1pm hopefully my feet heal a lot quicker that's got plastered up in the hospital because the skin is right off my toe, like all off. You can see flesh. It is ugh, freaky as. And what about my other toe? My other toe looks a lot better than it did. I don't know if you can really tell. See how it's all white or yellow or something? Can't really feel it. <laughs> and those are my injuries. But yeah, having a blast. <laughs> Yeah, I knew it would be hard. Um, didn't expect my feet to get that bad. But I'm never plastering my feet up again. They need their air. Peace out world. Love, joy, all that sort of happy positive stuff. Because life's too short to hate and stress. Look, the stressing never made anybody happy. So, yeah. Bye! Good morning world. Um, so today's day four and yeah, feet are still recovering. All bandaged up. And I'm soft. The doctor's orders. Um, really enjoying it out here. It's gorgeous. And I can't wait to get back on the road. I really, really, really want to get back on the road. Um, but it's been a great experience. Liz is like, I don't know, she's like a hippie. She's a really good person and a lot of morals, cares about the environment and yeah. I think this is probably the best thing that could have happened. I've opened my eyes to a lot of things more that I already thought I was open to, but now I'm more open to it. Um, so yeah, I'm really keen to get on top of a few things after this. It make, I kind of just want to go home and just smash out a few other things, but um, I'm going to finish this walk. Uh, probably will have to hitchhike a little bit because I want to get this done in 30 days. Uh, I'm going to go as far as Newcastle and from Newcastle I might hitchhike because I heard it's just like crap from there afterwards anyway. <laughs> no offense to anybody. But yeah, just enjoy the beauty. I probably will do this walk again one day, maybe bring some company. Um, but yeah, life's good. Life's real good. Um, yeah, I feel like I was put here to make a difference. That's what I want to do. So, you know, make the most of everything, enjoy your life, and if you can make a difference somewhere, just do just that. 
What's the point of living if you're not going to help anybody? You gotta help yourself first. But don't forget, other people might need you. So, yeah. Make the most of everything. Action. Action. Hello, I'm Liz. This is our house. We've had it. It's three years old. We've had the land 12 years. It's sacred. Please come. We are down the garden path and um, we, very few people have a rainbow covering but we're, we're pretty silly. Um, we've got two stained glass eyes on either side like a Tibetan temple and that's nice. And you come in, put your shoes under the hole and you've got Ganesha who can't be going to a party tonight and he protects the place as Ganesha always does. And um, this is the kitchen which is young because you can see the sea and a beautiful tree. So even though we're on the top of the hill we're lucky because we've got trees all around. And that's my husband Wayne. You can come over here and say hi to Wayne. Say hello to his camera Wayne. Oh, camera. Hello Star Wayne. Motion. Wayne's trying to run a business from a little office here. By the beautiful yep. view, keep dining room, and then you come through here, and we're very lucky. You've got a beautiful view of Byron. You might be able to see on camera, and you've got this amazing fireplace, which is a really yummy place, particularly in winter. And this is where I do yoga, and we have our instruments. And the bedroom and bathroom are over there. We'll forget that. And you come out here, and you've got the view to the west, Mount Shinkogan, Mount Warning, and our cows. So, aren't we lucky? Praise the Lord. The video's over. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> Good morning, Welto. So, Brian's back on the road once again. His adventure continues thanks to the helpful recovery of Liz and her family. Um, they dropped me back off Byron Bay area last yesterday afternoon, and I walked for a while and. Couldn't find the camping grounds they were telling me about, so I camped illegally on the beach. There is no camping sign everywhere. Uh, pretty, pretty thick. But yeah, it's great. Um, what was my highlights? Yesterday I saw the most beautiful python I've probably ever seen in my life, especially considering it was wild. It was awesome, but we were in a rush to go, and we saw it like the last second was next to the caravan that were letting me stay in. Um, and then yeah, I set up camp here. Very leafy by the beach, but it's flat and it's secluded. Um, which is pretty cool. Last night, I don't know what happened last night, but I guess something got stuck to my bag and a spider, I believe, bit me on the foot in my tent. I can't find the fucker, so sorry for swearing, but I was scared. I was, I was like, God, it's gonna bite me again. Was it a funnel web or something? Um, my foot was burning, like it hurt like hell. And now I'm all sweet. So, that's, that's, you know, I wasn't getting sick or nothing, so I was just paying close attention. If I started getting sick, then I would have caught an ambulance or something, but yeah, that was all good. And last night I just kept the hair, you know, I mean, I know there's bush turkeys and hear stuff rustling, rustling around. Um, someone was making this weird rustling noise last night. And this is awesome. I pulled out my torch and like, there was a bloody echidna, an echidna right next to my tent. I tried to take a photo, but by the time I pulled my camera out, he scurried off. Um, but yeah, that was awesome, man. I've never seen a wild, a wild echidna before. I've only ever seen one, that was at Australia Zoo. So that was that was wicked. That was that, that that was a really big highlight for me. That was awesome. Just scurrying around, he was getting food in the middle of the night, so they're nocturnal, obviously. Um, but yeah, really cold this morning. I'm glad they that uh, Liz and Wayne gave me a jumper. Uh, that's, that's definitely helped me out. And yeah, so now I'm setting up my gear. It's 5:42 in the morning, Queensland time. 6:42 in the morning, New South Wales time. And yeah, so. Hopefully um, that spider doesn't bite me again while I go through my gear because he's in it somewhere. Um, yeah, had, my foot was red and had two little puncture marks. Yeah, uh, but yeah, I'm all good. Ah, so yeah, um, that's it so far, and my adventure continues. And so today's day six, and so that's my third night on my own. And I spent three nights with Liz's family, which was great. That's a real highlight of my adventure. So. Uh, yeah, thanks. Hey, crazy people. Um, today I'm camping up at a proper campsite, a paid campsite. Um, 
33 bucks an hour, which is cheaper than the other places, which were like 50, 60, because I didn't pay for that, I camped on the beach. Um, and yeah, I'm at Galena today, I walked from Byron Bay, I hitchhiked, I got offered a ride, I didn't hitchhike, I offered, I haven't hitchhiked at all, I've been offered rides, um, from, the suburb starts with K, K Kexington Beach or something, and that place is beautiful. Um, I was like, I saw the beach and I was like, oh, I want to take a photo, but I really needed the ride because I've already been walking for four hours and my feet are still recovering, but i got to keep moving. Um, I'm still walking more than hitchhiking though. Um, in total, I've probably hitchhiked about uh, almost over 20 days anyway, almost 20 to 30 roughly. Um, just still pretty good. I've walked you know, over 100 easily. <laughs> and yeah, so I'm not at... Liz's house anymore, back on the road, doing my thing, and yeah, freaky. I saw a wild echidna, oh man, that was so awesome, uh, in the middle of the night, yeah, I just had some rustling around, I thought it was a turkey or something, and I put my torch on it, and he was like, he looked at me, and I looked at him, and I was like, oh my god, and then he ran off, <laughs> it was pretty awesome, uh, and yeah, so, I walked from Byron Bay to Keck, the Lala place, whatever, that, whatever that beautiful beach is, I'll probably go back there again, um, and I got a ride from Mandy, very very nice lady, uh, offered me a ride, and yeah, and I saw a wild hawk too, just as I was going along, hawks are cool, and yeah, so this is good, I'm really enjoying it, um, blisters on my feet, getting sore hips and knees, uh, it's just because I'm carrying a lot of weight, um, but it's so worth it, and yeah, so that's pretty much it. I don't know if you can see this, wait, wait, wait. I really want to show you this because it's real bad. Like the skin under there is all... Anyway, yeah, so you get the idea. This is there, this is there. On the bottom of my foot. It's pretty messed up. Um, I've got bruises under my toenails, and if you can see that. But yeah, those are my battle wounds. Uh, but nah, it's kind of right. Um, I had a blast at Liz's house. I really, I love camping. This is awesome. I've, I've only camped with my brother in school before, and like both of them was like military. Ryan, right, set up the tent. Uh, You're a dumb kid. And that was just the school. My brother was worse. Nah. <laughs> so yeah, nah. It's, it's, it's all good. Um, yeah, it's been a great adventure. Um, and I still got almost, you know, 23 days in. This is day seven. Um, Having a blast. Uh, the lady here gave me a discount too, which is really nice of her. It was like 37 and she gave me for 33. Um, so that saves me a few bucks. I've got, enough, I've got enough money to last food for the rest of the trip, but not camping accommodation stuff. So. Uh, I, I don't want to camp at um, camping grounds anyway. I want to camp at, uh, you know, I want to camp out bush or something like that. But I really needed that shower and I've got my clothes washed. Ah, oh, clean clothes. And I'm appreciating the little things in my life. Man, I love my car. When I get home, I'm gonna dry hump my car. Okay, mate. Now, yeah, yeah well, let's face it. I love my I really respect public I respect transport altogether now, man. Yeah, hard because it's been good coming to a camping site earlier in the day. I've had a whole afternoon to clean up and do stuff and make a peak start my tent and I bought all this food from Woolies and Yeah. Thanks for watching if you're watching this. I'm dead. Well, I love you, whoever you are, and I hope you make the most of life.
us up. Ten. Holy hell, I'm bucketing. I'm bucketing. And we just got this set up in time, too. Ten pounds. Oh, it's so black right now. Oh, this tent's, this tent's good. It's really windy. Oh, uh, it's actually not. And no, it was really windy before the rain started, actually. Oh, that's mad. Lightly, but not heavy. It looks like it's all hanging in there. It's what I'm worried about, because it gets good with wind, but I haven't seen it uh, cope with wind and wet soil, because the more damp the soil is, the, the easier it is for the, the tent pegs to get ripped out of the ground. So these things come out of the ground. Um, I'm actually a little bit, I don't know, scared now. <laughs> I don't want to get ripped off. <laughs> but yeah, it looks like it's going pretty good. Oh, it's starting to quiet down now. Yeah, that was, that was pretty bad. Set it up. Uh, where am I now? I'm in some country town in the middle of nowhere. It's really small. Uh, I thought about walking up the road a bit more, but uh, I thought I'd let my feet rest because I know I'm coming up to a, a road that's over 100, oh, not over, I think it's 80 k's or 100 k's. So that's going to be um, a two day walk. So I'm doing more than 40, doing 40 days, 40 k's a day gives me a massive blister. So I can't push further than that at the moment until uh, so I toughen up. But yeah. So yeah, I did get a ride today. I wait. I started at Ballina. I walked up this river forever, and I found a ferry to get across. So I called that. They let me on for free. I forgot the nice guy's name. He didn't give me his name actually. He let me cross for free. Uh, still working on it, and I had to wait like an hour to get on. And yeah, so he let me on for free. And then I was walking in the middle of the country for ages, and uh, chat. He's a really good bloke. He gave me a ride 10 k's up the road or whatever. And I came across this camping ground and it was 15 bucks a night, which was real cheap. And I was deciding whether to stay or not. And I thought, nah, I can do another 10, 20 k's up the road. But uh, now nah, I gotta let my feet have a bit of a rest because the blisters are pretty massive. And lucky I did because I would have been caught in the storm because the storm is actually sort of going past here and I would have been walking into it. So I didn't really want to, I don't really want to test out the storm that much because I probably wouldn't have seen it coming. Yeah, because it was 12, just after 12 o'clock when I got here, and it's quarter to two now. I went myself out tomorrow, and uh, I was planning, I wasn't planning on just saying, this place is cheap, 15 bucks a night. Um, and yeah, so I'll show you my blisters actually. There. Uh, that. Nice big. My toes are all bruised, you can see like the darkness under my nail, there's a blister there. And yeah, it's all good fun. Got blisters all over my feet. I think I already showed you this, but yeah. So, yummy. Mm. But yeah, no, I love camping. Yeah, this is this is awesome. Um, yeah, not much else to say. Um, but yeah, it's been a good day. Um, a short day. It's been a good day. But now I can relax, have junk food because I have to have 5,000 calories a day, which I haven't been doing. Um, eating more is actually harder than eating less, believe it or not. Uh, depending. <laughs> Maybe I need to get myself a bit depressed, thinking about shit that makes me feel down. Hmm, global warming, animal cruelty, nah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah, nah, it's, it's great. Um, the rain stopped, so I guess the storm's going to miss us. I really do want to test it out, so that was still pretty cool. It looks like it's hunkered down pretty well. And yeah, so thanks ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all ages, the crocodile hunter, Brian Angels, nah. <laughs> 
hey world um, so it's early morning in my campsite blah blah blah, blah. and I haven't had to stand any more of these places even though the showers not that good but I want to camp out push more but yeah um, chilling out having my 90 second rice that I don't actually cook this is light and it's easy to take around um, so yeah getting ready this is pretty mean, but I have to comment on it. I was having a shower, or getting ready to have a shower, and there's like someone else having a shower, and then the cubicle next to me, and the whole time all I can hear is him going, oh, oh, oh. I'm like, what the hell? I just got to laugh, I'm like, I'm like, oh. <laughs> it's like he's masturbating or something, I don't know, I just thought it was hilarious, I'm just cracking up. Uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, so, <laughs> I'm like literally in the, sh in the cubicle next to him, just laughing my head off, I'm cracking up, like, but I'm like this, I'm like, um, like not letting any sound come, I'm like, <laughs> like I'm pumping the walls and shit because it's just so hard not to laugh and yeah, so I don't know, that was a highlight of my morning. And yeah, I planned on getting up before the sun came up again, but that failed. It's about almost 6 a.m. Queensland time, so 7 p.m. New South Wales daylight savings time. Um, yeah, so I've got my big 80k two day walk coming up. Ooh. So that's the middle of nowhere. That's gonna be my real test. I hope I can find some supplies. I lost one of my water bottles yesterday, so I guess I'll have to fill up this plastic thing. Oh yeah, I had so much junk food last night. I had chips and marshmallows and two bottles of soft drink. Cause I haven't been getting enough calories into me. I'm supposed to have 5,000 a day. Um, but yeah, this is pretty cool. I can just, I can literally eat whatever I want. I'm not gonna gain a kilo anyway, it's good. <laughs> and yeah, so that's it so far, folks. I'm gonna finish eating my brekkie. Oh. And I'm gonna walk to a town called Woodburn today. And go probably further than that place. But yeah, that's gonna be my next supply stuff, I suppose. And yeah, so thanks for watching. Are you ready for an adventure, my friends? <laughs> I'm just walking down this really long road and I feel fantastic. The scenery is beautiful, very country, and water to one side, mountains to the other. Uh, my backpack's packed really well today, so that's even better. Everything's nice and still, so my I don't feel like my legs are going to buckle. I've been walking for over two hours, feeling good. A lot of weight on my shoulders, but you know, that's normal. Um, I lost my hiking pole, which that sucks, because that really helps when you're going up hills. But oh well, don't know what happened to that. I either left it in someone's car or at the last um, place I camped. But I looked really hard before I left. I'm very sure about stuff. And um, I left my water bottle in that guy's car. I know that Chad's from yesterday. He gave me 510k right up the road. And yeah. And my other water bottle, that doesn't seal anymore, so I had to chuck it out. So now I've just got a plastic one on me and my last metal one. We're doing the job. But yeah, it's great. If you wanna go on an adventure? Don't nag people to go with you. They want to go, they want to go. If they don't want to go, they don't want to go. I didn't want anyone to come with me though. This is the thing I'm doing myself. And, you know, it's your life. you got to live it. Get out there. See the world. Grow and explore. Check out beautiful stuff like that. Out in the distance. And, yeah. Absolutely every single day of this adventure has been beautiful and sunny. Had my first storm yesterday. Go away, fly. <laughs> And it lasted five or ten minutes. And yeah. Sunny, sunny, sunny. Apparently it's gonna be 37 degrees soon. Not looking forward to that. But things are great, things are going good. People are waving at me, people are smiling at me, people are tooting their horn at me. Half time is to get off the road, nah. <laughs> Everyone's really nice. Away from the city. And this is perfect. This is great. I get pretty hungry actually. <laughs> Hmm. Woo! I'm almost at Woodburn. Woodburn, Woodburn, Woodburn. Should be only 2Ks away or something. That's probably it up there actually. That would be the 10... Roughly 10K mark today. Walking for over 2 hours. I do about 5Ks an hour, so... Whoa! Hungry. Alright, that's enough.
Okay, 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 you can't see it now, but there was a fucking whale out there, it was amazing! It sprouted water up and everything, holy crap! I just saw this big darkness, and he went, and sprayed up, and then he went back underwater. Oh, he's, oh, wow, that's like the, whoa! This isn't even, that's so awesome! There, oh, is that it? No. I just saw this big dark patch, I'm like, you're gonna be kidding me. And then this big freaking, they just sprayed all this water in the air. I've never seen a wild whale before. Well, I don't think I have. That was amazing. Oh, where'd it go? It is awesome. Just a video blog. Yeah. Hi well. right, guys. Um. So yeah, I'm camping on the side of the beach, as you can see on a cliff face. The battery might drop out. But yeah, because I got arrived from Graham. Sort of right from Greg, he just drove me all around town and complained about all that stuff. No, he's trying to help me out though, he's a really cool guy. We drove past Coles though and I didn't want to be rude and ask him to stop because um, I really need food. I'm really low on food. But you can go three minutes without air, three days without water, three weeks without food. So, I've got one container of rice left after I eat this. Uh huh, uh huh, mm hmm. Otherwise, I've had a great day. I've walked for like six and a half hours. I haven't done that for a while. Well, without feeling extreme pain. The last couple of hours, blisters are getting to me. Where is that whale? Hey, bro. Hey, bro. You want to chop, bro? Oh, you beached as, bro. It's not a good idea. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on. Breach the surface. I love this stuff, eh? I could just go on adventures like this all the time. On my own. Yolo.